Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooke Geary, your host for Makeup Covers Jesus Heals. Today we're going to be talking about pruning your life. I am the true vine, and my Father is the keeper of the vineyard. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. He prunes to make it even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, neither can you bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. John 15, 2 through 5. Imagine a beautiful, fruitful apple tree with branches hanging with enticing red apples. God is the vine and we are the branches. We are a branch connected to the vine, which is God. Without the connection, we wither, die, and will fall to the ground. On our branch, there are many other smaller branches. Those branches can take and draw life from you. In order for you to continue to grow, those branches and you must be pruned from time to time. Some of those branches represent people and things that need to be removed from your life. Even though the branch you must prune will bring you pain, it still must be cut away for you to grow. It will be hard at times because you will rationalize all the reasons it should remain because of the fruit that it bears. A perfect representation of this in my life is about Ariana, a beautiful little girl and her father that came into my life. I wanted nothing more than to have a child and she brought immense happiness and filled the void of losing Madison and Aiden, my twins. The relationship I found myself in was extremely toxic. I fell into the same trap that we all do by believing that I could change her father and make him a better person. The truth is, is that people don't change unless their heart changes. And the only person that can do that is God. The cost of letting him go, though, included losing her as well. I prayed to God because of the immense pain I felt in just my thoughts of losing her. I did not have the strength to leave her on my own, so I asked God to remove her from my life, and he did in such a way that I felt no guilt. Decisions in your life aren't always the right ones, and it can cause a good apple to turn bad. No matter how bad the decisions or how many there are, God still loves you and will keep you. All he asks is that we pray for forgiveness and he will cut out the bad, which cleanses us from the guilt that we are carrying. It allows you to move, that past, move past that part of your life and continue to grow. What is the center of your life? Money, popularity, drugs, being accepted, physical appearance? The reality is, is that God is not the center of your life. You will never be completely happy, feel whole, or at peace with your life. What are things in your life that need to be pruned that will allow you to grow in your faith and make God the centerpiece of your life? Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Make sure that you please subscribe to it so you can catch all of my videos on Makeup Covers Jesus Heals. And um, I will always leave you with my quote, no amount of makeup could ever cover my love for Jesus. Thanks again for joining me and look for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good one. Bye-bye.